Thank you very much. So now you know all about me. Um, I was going to I was going to show you my gloves. Um, and I, but first of all, I just want to play you a song with the gloves. And then I was going to explain a bit about the story and why. Um, and then I was going to play you and I was going to show you how I do it, um, how I do this particular song. And then I'm going to play it again. Um, so you have seen all the little tricks and uh, yeah, interested to know whether you prefer the performance not knowing or whether you prefer the performance knowing. Um, <coughs> okay, so I'm going to attempt to bring out my voice at this stage. I don't do that much um, kind of performance at the moment because of all that stuff that um, you just heard. Um, but I'll give it my best shot. <coughs> but I will take some water first. Um, la 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 la. Yeah, and if you want to hear more about that other stuff, um, I'm doing an event tomorrow night here uh, for an hour and a half, kind of explaining a lot of that stuff and sharing the, the new tour idea, um, which is going to commence next year, actually. I was trying to get it to do this year, but it's going to be next year. Okay, here we go. <coughs> so it's called Breathe In. It's written by, uh, written, uh, actually, yeah, mostly by a friend of mine called Guy Sigsworth when I was in a band called Free Free. <coughs> Da dum dum da dum da 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 da dum But all shapes in it compress that dissonance if you dare. And I where was I? I have to be somewhere. Now where did I put it? I'm high on now from all the way to to ride a wave on your inhaling. And I'm high enough from all the way to, to ride a wave on your inhaling. Cause I love you, no. Can't help but love you, no. What? Part of no. Don't you understand? I've told you before. I just get off my case This isn't happening Stop this now And I, where was I? I have to be somewhere Now where did I put it? I'm high on now from all the way To ride a wave on your inhaling and I'm high on that from all the way to, to ride a wave on your inhaling Cause I Hello, we're back. 
and we're taking calls. Now, what was the question? Thank you. Right. Thank you. Oh, why didn't stop it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So it didn't go exactly as planned, but um, so this is technology in development um, for about eight years or maybe seven years. Um, been started off with a fibre optic glove. Um, which we just got off the shelf. A friend of mine called Tom Mitchell, he's a University of West England lecturer and technology um, professor. And <clears throat> I went to him with this idea, I want to create a music system so that I can just grab sound out of thin air and make music. Because as the childhood music musician in me, it feels like that's totally normal. Like you should be able to just like grab you grab your, um, your voice and be able to move it around and should be able to just like make a twinkly sound or pan something or um, make something reversed um, just by, well, I didn't do any reversing in that one, but by, you know, doing something like that. Um, so that's what I'm just, I've got lots of delay in my ears, I'm just going to take those out. That's better. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's where it began. And so we had this fibre optic glove and we quickly realised that... Um, so he, he developed this uh, like a neural network for the glove system so that it could um, distinguish postures. So in my, I'm going to show you the screen actually. Can you put the screen on? Um, okay, so this thing here on the top, um, that thing, that's called Glover. Um, it doesn't look very sexy at the moment because I haven't done all the pretty colours. Um, but uh, that's, our, that's our existing uh, software that we use. So the gloves go into... Uh, this software, and then it kind of puts it into order and goes into um, a system like Ableton Live, which is like off the, off the shelf kind of music making system that a lot of people use live. Uh, but basically, it can send out anything, which is like a language called music MIDI. Um, can I just ask who in the audience like knows about this stuff? Just so I can kind of know. Oh, quite a lot of you. Okay, that's good. So I don't need to like, okay. Well, basically, yeah. So it reads MIDI and OSC, which is a more granular um, kind of uh, language uh, to, to send to things that read that kind of stuff. Um, so we have two gloves, as you can see. Um, and this is the beginning, was uh, this thing that he created was a neural network. So um, oh, this is my left hand. Um, and so that's, uh, I've got eight Venn sensors, basically, and, and it shows you the orientation. I'm going to make this north. OK, so, oh, now, now I've started the song. OK, wait a minute. <laughs> Actually, I'll just go to this one. Um, there. Um, I need some gloves for my 
presentation. Right, um, so there we go. So, oh, God's sake, right. <laughs> I'm going to mute it because I keep forgetting that it does stuff right, right, right there. Mute the gloves, mute the gloves. Okay, so now you can still see, and I can still see. Yeah, okay. So, so I've got different postures. So I've got fist, um, I've got puppet hand, open hand, one finger point, two finger point, uh, pinch, rock, and open hand, and secret finger. Um, and so I've got nine. You can choose nine. I've got actually eight, but I've, I've tried different ones. Anyone can choose whatever they want. So um, I don't know. I'll, I'll do an example. So I haven't got one in that slot. So I'm going to train it by doing this. Um, train. Learn. And now I'll do that. It does that. And I can call that whatever I like. I'm going to call it T finger. T finger. Um, so now I've created a new posture, which I don't need, but I've put it in there anyway. Um, and then I've got different, like, so you've got orientation, so you've got, okay, this is my, I'm going to set this to be north now. Wait a minute. Okay, set it to be north. So you've got um, middle, and then orientation left and right, and you've got pitch, and then you've got your, that's your, and then you've got roll as well. And then you've also got zones, um, which doesn't actually come up on there, but... Um, for some reason. Don't know why that is. Wait a minute. No. Anyway, you can basically also choose like different zones. So you've got forwards and backwards, and left and right, up and down, that kind of thing. Um, and then you've got uh, drum hits as well. So you've got um, like a drum hit, you've got wrist flick, and you've got slap, which I've never used. Anyway, probably for quite good for one. <laughs> Um, okay, um, and so the idea is that through all of that different combination, um, you can kind of pretty much do anything inside what I use live, which is Ableton. Um, and before this, before using the gloves to like, you know, record my voice or something, I would, I would probably have had, well, I did use a thing called the Electrics Repeater uh, originally, which is like a four-track sampler, and I would like hit record and then off it would go, and then I'd turn it up and down, and then I'd record my next track, and I'd hit record, and, I'd, and then I'd have to press play. And I'd have to stay over here where I did that, and I couldn't, I'd have to like, dance like this, but um, I can't clap at the same time. Um, so it just became a frustration, really, that the things that I was doing that were more like the production stuff in the studio, like the effects and the kind of filters and all those kind of fun stuff that we do when we make a record, that is really hard to do live unless you've got, like, 20 hands. Um, because even just doing something as simple as, like, taking a sound and then just doing a filter sweep on it, just making it go... Um, means your whole entire hand is taken up by doing that one tiny little stupid thing. Um, where with the gloves, you could do that like this, but at the same time, you could be moving over there, you could at the same time be doing a drum hit, you could you know, be doing something over here, um, and you're totally free. Uh, I'm not, for, for, like, for this song, obviously, I've done a demo of it using, like, doing everything entirely with the gloves, but that, I do feel a bit like I'm like, okay, careful, careful, don't do that, because you might trigger something. Um, and... And for me, like the best bit of the gloves is if you come tomorrow night, you'll you'll see, um, is when it it interacts with uh, or when I interact with not like acoustic instruments, so like a piano, and then augment that. So as I'm playing the piano, like sample it really quickly by doing that motion, or or uh, put a massive reverb on it, or reverse it, um, so I can so so I kind of don't get out of the, the motion of performance, and I don't, I don't have that kind of... I felt like there was a bit of a barricade going on with all my gear. And even though it was fun to, like, whiz around the stage, and I, had, I, I don't have them this time, but I have the, also this little accessory that goes on here, um, which is a, a pack of wrist mics. Uh, they're just like lapel mics that you could just buy off the shelf and then just kind of butchered them so they're a bit smaller, and the little battery packs all all together. So I can, I can record um, guitar, or I can play the drums, or I can play my Mbira, and the sound just comes directly into the, the microphone. I got that idea from somebody who, um, who played live on stage wine glasses, because they're really hard to mic up a wine glass, because you, you, know, well, you need to do that, but then there's a the microphone there. And it's a bit so we had this ingenious idea to put these there, and I copied him. And then, uh, and, and then began to do my whole kind of, all, all the percussive stuff uh, on stage with that. Um, yeah, so that was actually the beginning, in a way, of the gloves, was these things on my wrists. And then I was like, I want to be able to record, not just, like, be the microphone. Um, so, yeah, so what I thought I'd do was um, 
to kind of talk through how I did that song. Would that be interesting? And then, like, bit by bit, and then I'll show you it again, and you would be like, oh, I know how she does it. Um, so, yeah. So, on, so I basically got different scenes up here. Um, so I've got my startup scene, um, and, and here I can, like, mute or unmute my gloves. I've got a little button here and a button here. Um, I've got vibration motors here, either side of my wrist as well, and that confirms to me that something's been done. So just then it's like beep, beep, and now it's like beep, 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 um, and it's telling me that I'm, in, I'm now muted. Um, and, it, and again, that's something I said. So you can see I've made a little mapping. It says button right up and then global mute, and that's basically doing that. Um, and then I've also set it to do vibration motors and everything. But this was actually kind of taken from an old session, and now you actually don't need to do that because you can do that all in one mapping um, by going device feedback um, and add another thing in here. Um, you know, for instance. Um, but I've this is like a, taken from an older version. It's the story of my life, basically. I'm like, oh, I've got it really good now. And then the team are like, okay, we've done a new version, and it's not back compatible. I'm like, what? Um, so yeah, Adam, like, like basically two days before performance, he, he's like, oh, can you play? Can you use the new software? And I'm like, yeah. Can you like make all my sessions work with it, please? <laughs> um, so for the last, yeah, he just he had to. Uh, he did all that, basically. But I, I originally programmed it, but in an, old, in an older version. Um, so, yeah, it, this, this tells you that I'm connecting. So it's, a wi it's connected via Wi-Fi. It's got its own little network. It's called, um, I think it's called Gloves Bristol or something. Um, and then I've got my little battery meter. That's this, telling me how much battery I have left. Um, and what else have I got here? Yeah, anyway. So that's how I do it. So you go global mute. Um, so that's like internally inside Glover. But then, say you wanted to like send a message. Uh, so what I'll do now is I, I press that un unmute, unmute, and then I do that, which means now now my gloves have gone green and it says, okay, now you're ready to perform. Are you ready? Check, check, check. Everything ready. Um, and then in doing that, I've set all these mappings. Um, to this, it says green go, so that's my new scene. And in that scene, um, it's exclusive, so no, it won't. It won't affect any of none of the other scenes will be affecting this scene, so I can only work with what's kind of selected. All these different mappings in this scene, and in this, it's quite a long one. It's basically like clear, drums effects off, volume of the organ down, everything set to zero. There are actually much simpler ways of doing that now, but that was for, again from kind of an older version. You can actually do that in inside Ableton. You can kind of flatline it. Um, so that's that. Um, and then from there, I would go to, um, so the, actually one of the key things, there's a little thing that we have to sort out, is um, north. OK, we need to sort out north. Um, because um, the, the gyroscope or, and the magnetometer like drift a little bit um, throughout performance. And I think it's just one of these specific, this specific one is drifting quite a lot. So you probably saw me quite a lot during the performance doing this. And that's setting north. So double rock sign, um, set north. Um, and now I'm actually, because that's the beginning of how I do the show. I, like, the last thing that I want to do, the last, last thing just before I start singing a song is to set north, because then everything's relative to this. So I don't have like um, whatever this data is. Um, I've only got left and right, so I don't have depth. Depth, I don't have depth. I'd like to have depth. We used to have depth, um, but then we decided not to have depth. Um, um, so, um, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this button, um, which takes me back to Green Go, because I've been talking, um, and now I want to start again. So I will go like this. I'm gonna put my earphones in now. In my headphones, I am cheating slightly because I do have a click, and inside the click, it has a tone in it, so that I know what key I'm in. Otherwise, I can't sing into the organ and all that stuff. So, um, so I'm gonna do this. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? That's my click. That's really annoying. I listen to that all the time. Um, OK, and it tells me every time it goes around four bars as well, because that's important for this song. We need to get around all these problems anyway. 
So, so by doing this, I'm now recording my voice. Um, and it's recording into a four-bar loop, because I've pre-assigned that inside Ableton. So it is a designated time. Um, and now you probably start to hear, oh, there she is. Oh, no, um, so that's me. And obviously, that's going to get a bit annoying after a while. Um, and then in order to uh, make that loop, so this is volume. Um, no, it's not. So no, it's not. Me, it's not volume in this one. Um, now I need to stop recording um, myself talking. In order so I do uh, that. And, make that loop. This is volume. and then... I can't actually remember how to delete it. I'll just, I'll just do that. Um, I think I... Anyway, yeah. Th that's the thing. It's like every song is different, so it does get a bit confusing, especially if you haven't done it for a while. Because you're like, is that stuff everything? Is that stuff everything? Is that what you want to do each song? Um, but because it's the beginning, and because I don't do a lot of performance, I haven't really... Like, some things are always the same. Like, my reverb and my delay are always on my right hand. I don't know why. It's like, I want to make a cave, and then I do that with my right hand. Um, or the drum, like the, the kick is always on my right hand, and the snare is always on my left hand, and then I always have my hi-hats with these two little fingers. So there is starting to be a little language for myself, but I'm still in that process of iterating, you know, what's good for me. And everybody has, you know, there's, there's actually 20 or th maybe, maybe there might be more now, glovers, as we call them, as you mentioned, um, in the world. And, and actually, one of them is this guy called Chris Halpin, and uh, he, he has several palsy and he um, he works with the Drake Music Foundation brilliant brilliant um, foundation for um, musicians with disabilities and um, so he um, he has a pair of these gloves and one of his favorite songs is breathe in and so just before a performance that he was about to do like two days before he's like oh, I know you're coming to the gig is there any chance that you could possibly do breathe in what two minutes Holy moly, okay, forget everything I just said. Right, how can that possibly be? I had 20 minutes, have I already gone on for 20 minutes? I'm, I'm awful, I'm so sorry. Okay, right, basically, I'll just really quickly whiz through what I'm doing and then I'll do the song. Okay, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, okay, quick, quick, right, because we want wine. Okay, so you've done the recording thing, okay, so done that, I've done that, da 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 da, I'm just gonna, oh, I'm muted. Okay, right, and then I play the drums, right? So I do that, I pick up my sticks, different colors. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, and then they're going to have that. It's going to do that. And then when I do this, yeah, so it's, it's gone yellow, and I did that. And now I'm already, I'm changing the kind of... Mm. Okay, so I'm changing kind of the sound of all of those sounds. That also affects the voice, but I didn't record the, the, the song just then. Right, so what else have we got? Uh, I've, once we've done that, now we're in the chorus, so I bring up the um, organ by doing that. Like I'm pulling up a fader. Um, and then, got a nice little thing there, you probably noticed that. Um, okay. Oh. Oh yeah, because the drums aren't really there. Um, I've got this little thing. I've got this little thing here. Which is quite nice. And then I can... I bring in samples every now and then. Like that one, and this one. And this one. And I sometimes pan them. Um, and then bring it all in. And then when I go into the chorus, um, I go like that. And then, then I hold everything. Okay, and there's the chorus in, and I do that. And then sometimes I don't do that, I do this. And then I'm in a different mode. And that means I've got now a record on my right hand, because otherwise I might accidentally play the drums. Um, and then it starts recording my voice. Um, and then I basically just have that in there, and then that starts to fade out by doing that. Da 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 da. Hello. Okay. Like that. And then I do this, and that keeps that particular chord, so that stays there forever until I stop. And then I do this, and I'm like caught that moment, and I get bigger and bigger. And then that brings in the chorus, and then I bring in that thing, and then I can bring in that thing. That thing, I can stop it, I can start again, I can do all kinds of things. Um, and then at the end, um, right at the end, I've got what's called the jellyfish. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. But, oh, you. Oh, for God's sake. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah. Okay, stop. Um, do you want me to do it again? I could do it at the end. Do it at the end, do it now, I don't know. What? More time? Do you want me to do it again now? 
Now that you know what I'm doing, or is that just annoying? Okay. 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 So now you know what I'm doing. But the thing at the end is called Jellyfish. It's really cool. Adam Stark built it, and it's so brilliant. And it's basically a way to sample my voice, and you kind of move across the waveform. And I'm panning left and right with this hand, and I'm using the volume of this one. And then I'm changing the grain size by doing that, and the time between the grains by doing that. And it's really fun to play with. And the kind of frustrating thing is that now we develop these gloves. They're awesome. Um, but the, the software, like the, the traditional um, music systems, don't, aren't thinking in terms of gesturally interfacing with. Um, so everything's like 0 to 0, or, or, or like 0 to 1, or 0 to 1, 0 to 127, or on, off. And it's not, it's not thinking in 3D, so it really takes a lot of time to program something to make it feel intuitive. Hmm. But that's all going to change. OK, here we go, one more time. And it probably won't be as good as the first time, because that's quite good. OK, here we go. <coughs> Da -da. Okay, I'm just gonna okay. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for that to finish. Right. <coughs> Da dum dum ba da dum da 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 da dum I read you, that I'm good at it, I'm so spot on, chord shapes in it, go press that dissonance, if you dare. I put it. I'm high enough from all the waiting to ride a wave on your inhaling. And I'm high enough from all the waiting to ride a wave on your inhaling. Cause I love you, no. Can't help but love you, no. Pardon all, don't you understand? I've told you before, it just get off my case. This isn't happening, stop this now. And I, where was I? I have to be somewhere. Now, where did I put it? I'm high enough from all. And I'm high enough from all the waiting To ride a wave on your inhaling Cause I Cause I love 
Okay. Thank you. Sorry.